Let, if it'll let me attach this, I just want to show you this Bruce so you can uh, kind of see what I'm talking about when I mean uh, we, we've got this bed profile and um, we can't, we're going to make our CNC convert it into a larger 3D printer, but I kind of wanted to show you this because uh, it, hopefully it'll let me send it. It, it. This printer is normally always up there on the bamboo uh, um, little counter. But uh, it's just taken down today with some help so that I could um, uh, evaluate everything um, and prepare for that the um, the <clears throat> the conversion to have this be a tool plate, which we won't do until after your print is well on its way. But um, the reason I wanted to share this with you, just the size of this um, a printer. I know compared to the very large open one uh, that you have, that it's kind of shaped more like these. You know where they have an archway style this was something um i just had to show you because if you get hard if, if you get into studying you know a little bit more about uh about 3d printing and and there comes a time where uh some of your if any of your work ever needs um you know extra precision um the, we're able to facilitate that on this machine. It's a it's a very interesting, cool belted Core XY design um, <laughs> that I designed, and um, it's uh, very durable with uh, a lot of very thick um, ATP five or better. Um, uh, or actually, this is Mix six, and all the rest is ATP five plate aluminum. So it's it's a pretty big deal with this frame, uh, and obviously the more rigid the frame, the more sturdy, uh, the, the 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 better the print resolution you can get. So this is our work envelope, and uh, the thing that, about it is it, it's not quite as open as one of these. Uh, we, we've got many of them here. These are kind of the ones that are being maintenance down the floor here. But these archway style printers that don't take much material to to create for the amount of work area uh, where you actually have the work place move back and forth or the, the archway kind of like a, I, I call it the car wash style, which I think your large printer uh, was where, you know, this archway kind of moves back and forth in the wide dimension. And, uh, you know, it has uh, dual lead screws. They're actually ball, they're actually ball screws uh, on your model. And uh, that 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 uh, raise and lower the axis. In this case, what's happening is um, we're actually instead of instead of the archway design, this is an, an entire enclosure uh, around it that helps reduce vibration when you're printing um, and have a much more controlled environment. And to do that, this if you ever look up what an FT6 look like looks like online, because Treat Stock does have us you know list the printer by model and uh, th that they recognize as an official printer um, that uh, you're not going to see anything that looks close to this because it's uh let's just say there's there's far more upgrades that have gone into this th printer than the actual cost of the printer itself um one reason for my sh showing this video is that i am over the next few days that um you know once i call you about this the, the single largest issue is filament. I was kind of shocked to see our supply of white filament be so depleted um, because it is, has always been one of my staples. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of my, my favorites to work with. Um, so, you know, when I call, if I'm still able to today, that, that I wanted to uh, you know, talk about that and um, lastly share that we we do offer this service for many of our customers um, with this is actually a camera here that I can stream live so you can actually see your print progressing in real time and uh, again as I, I kind of mentioned this differs from the kind of archway style or i3 type printer that uh, um, is really easy to scale up with uh, what uh, well, what you what we see in a photo of that that you have um, uh, it's definitely something that's that's really great and, uh, and affordable to be able to scale up but I did want to just show you this because I, I 
for a boxed in printer like this that has so much frame it it really <laughs> there is a lot that's gone into this and um i just wanted I just wanted you to know as you know as the artist I know most of your things are probably large uh sculpture like things but I wanted to share this so that you could know that hey we we do have a really rigid frame that allows us to do uh pretty detailed stuff um and you know unlike um this the style you're used to where the z axis go or the x axis is lifted by the z and you know it goes upwards in this style, the entire bed moves down as the model grows. Um, and um, none of this is stock at all. This, all of this uh, I custom designed to uh, make this bed extremely rigid. And, um, and this entire motion system here is all uh, custom designed. It, the printer does not normally have this Core XY functionality. It's kind of like an Etch-a-Sketch. Uh, with the the two motors driving it, um, I mean, uh, it's actually exactly like an etch sketch, and um, it gives us some really interesting, uh, really interesting uh, characteristics that just aren't possible with another style printer. With this, core, it's called Core XY motion system. With a Core XY, we're able to print at higher speeds than uh, conventional printers would be able to move move at, um, and um, uh, yeah, but the largest thing is accuracy and speed. So uh, we hope those will come into play here. Uh, last but not least, I'm going to show you that, um, and maybe another photo. We're going to take off this cooling uh, duct here, which is removable, and we're likely going to put on a volcano or the super volcano, which this will be our first time to use it. Uh, hot end, which has 11 times the volumetric throughput of. The traditional V6, which is on this uh, Hamera extruder here, which is a pretty rare new extruder. So basically, you can, in regards to this project, you do have top of the line stuff uh, working for you here in terms of the actual materials. These are things for which we change out based on uh, what's going on. This is a, a fan duct for the standardized size hot um, hot end block where. You know, you actually do the melting of things, but um, for your project, we're going to uh, use a very large, very large uh, uh, heating chamber and uh, or, uh, heating block, so that we can um, liquefy and move it at, at faster rates of speed and have uh, print in larger lines to get to get uh, um, you know large prints made in a timely manner. Uh, it does take a bit more material, but uh, it, it isn't anything that is out of the ordinary in regards to what what I saw in in the photo of the prints you uh, you you've done on the um, on your on your large printer. So it looks like those had you know um, their own customized nozzles and and hot ends that uh, you know were probably very large. Um, you know maybe 1.4 millimeters or you know or or larger maybe. So. Um, yeah, I just want to share this with you so you kind of know a little bit about what's going to go on with your uh, your print. Um, we're mainly just waiting on um, this orders for uh, white plastic, and um, yeah, this was this will be uh, where everything happens on. And we definitely would like to, um, if you're interested, to send you a um, a stream. Uh, to this camera when the when the print begins, which I hope to have it happening in just a moment um, after I call you, basically um, optical in stops. There you go. All right, see if I can upload this. Take care, and we do appreciate your business so much, uh, and looking forward to this project uh, moving forward.